guys, I'm starting school next Wednesday. What I'm most excited for is having Mr. Longacre two periods in a row at the end of the day, um, creative writing and English, and he is such an odd teacher. He wears a little bow tie and he makes really odd comments. Um, here's his Twitter. If you want to see what kind of person he is, just, just read his tweets. They're, they're interesting. But yeah, I'm super pumped about that, particularly about creative writing. And also graphic design 3 should be pretty interesting. Double block. Actually, the whole second half of my day is great. Like, um, the first half of my day, I have anatomy, pre-calc, and humanities. I'm hoping to switch anatomy out of first period because that would suck because our teacher what I'm least excited about is the amount of responsibilities I'm going to have. I am in National Honor Society, I am the historian of National Honor Society, which means I have to document everything in like, photo and video and stuff. I am the president of Nerdfighter Club, I am the vice president of Asian Studies Club. I'm going to have to get volunteer hours, I'm going to have to apply for scholarships and to college. I'm probably going to have a job, I applied for a job at GameStop, and I think, I think I'm going to get the job. I'm so excited. I am really, really, really pumped to work at GameStop, like, I am all over that 15% discount on games and also working with a bunch of nerds is gonna be great. But then there's the stress that that produces, like, yay, I'm doing lots of great things, but also, I have no time for anything. And for the first few weeks of school, on top of that, I have a college psychology course, which means during the school year, I'm gonna have a college final. Mm. And I have to make these videos too, on top of all that. Will I survive? I have no idea, but I'm not gonna quit. I do not wanna quit, I like this too much. Big goals. Okay, my big goal this year is to get into Columbus College of Art and Design. Really, 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 really wanna get into that school. And also I need to get enough scholarships to afford that school because tuition is $28,000 a year. Room and board is like $8,000 a year. Then there's a meal plan on top of that, which is like, $3,000 a year, I don't know. And then there's supply fees, and scheduling fees, and insurance fees, and fees, fees. I can do it. I can do it. I can totally do it. This is, these are probably famous last words right here. Projects. I want to be more organized, like I want to get a planner, and I want to like plan everything out. I want to keep the Book of Longacre, where basically for the past few years, someone has kept a book of all of the quotes that Mr. Longacre has said, he's pretty quotable. So that falls on me, and then I have to keep my yearly journal, which is a project in itself. I have to do my portfolio for college. I want to write more of my novel, which is sort of taken a back burner lately, because I've been working on it, and then I was like, wait, I have to get into college. I'm not too happy about the fact that I'm not gonna have any classes, really, with my friend Haley. Um, I don't know about my other friends yet. Also, one of our classmates, um, passed away this weekend. He got hit by a car. And that's been really hard on all of us, um, so that's gonna be really weird going back to school and he's not gonna be there. But I am really optimistic about this year in general. I would not have taken on this many responsibilities if I didn't think I could handle them. And I hope that my whole world doesn't just collapse in on itself. I hope I can actually... I don't know, survive with my whole brain intact. So. Um, what about you guys? What are you most and least excited for this year? You got any goals or projects? You know, leave a comment, let me know. Um, I'll talk to you next week. Yeah.